It's a great sea serpent from Norse mythology. What is um, the idea behind this? So is there any novel or something? What is inspiration? Yes, so the main inspiration for this build is it's a recreation of our first creation that we made on Lego Masters in the United States in Season 2. So we made a sea serpent and we had a great time. We got second place, we were super happy, but we felt we could do a little better, a little bigger, a little more detailed, so we made the plus size, highly detailed with lights and breathing steam, so very cool. And I know you're a big castle fan, so this could be kind of a part of a castle, so it's the giant monster. It is, it is. It's definitely in the fantasy and uh, kind of that kind of genre for sure. So I think it, it, you could see this guy attacking a big castle sometime soon. So. Okay. so I mean, are you willing to share the secret? What is going on here? Yes, it's actually very simple. You've got a household humidifier down here under the table. You've got some Lego tubes from the old Mars mission sets. And then that uh, pressure goes right through the sea serpent and then produces the steam out of his mouth. Okay. So Anybody can do this at home. We have here Ben with us, who's a genius just, master builder. Just a fan, yes. yes. <laughs> so uh, what do you think? This could be part of your layout, behind your oh, castle. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and you've got the effects with the, the fogger. I mean, it is, in the lights, it is top notch. It's something that, you know, the shaping, and, and I'm just amazed with these guys always. So last question of mine here, uh, when we talk about the lighting, which is awesome. Yes. So what do you use to make this happen this way? Okay, so a lot of it is just the string lights like you have on Christmas decorations, that sort of thing. But then some of them are uh, LED strip lights that you put behind your TV or up on your ceiling. Ooh. And so you put those in there, they can change color, but I like the blue to match the ocean. Okay. And so also, anybody can do that. You can, I got them at Ikea and Amazon.com. Anybody can do it. Awesome, so, awesome. Yeah. So uh, last thing here, again, you won the second season of LEGO Masters in the US. Yes. Uh, and with the same show in Germany as well. Yes. Would you tell people it is worth it to, to kind of be part of it? Or would you say, what a, what a waste of time? <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I enjoy LEGO Masters quite a bit. I saw the first season in the US and saw my friend Tyler win that. And so I was very excited for to be on the second season and excited to see all the different international versions like Germany, you got Sweden, you got Norway, you got Australia. So much amazing creativity, so many amazing builds. Definitely worth watching. Okay, and last thing here because yeah. you brought this new one. Yeah. There are some more builds of your brother. So yes. you did the show with your brother together. Exactly. Yeah. And we have this uh, fancy car. Yes, exactly. Oh, so want me to describe this for you? Yes, yes. So this is the Toxic Titan. It is another recreation of a build we made for LEGO Masters. Mm -hmm. um, on episode 6, they had a demolition derby with cars that were smashing into each other and trying to survive. Mm -hmm. This was our build and it was a, a zombified car. It's like a, a dead come to life. Okay. And so it's a very fun build. This one actually drives around and we'll be uh, having a recreation of the demo derby at 2 o'clock today over there. All right. So this, in about an hour. This sounds good. Yeah. So Mark, uh, all, all this fantastic. Ben, thank you so much. Thanks for, for having me. Time and enjoy the show. Thanks guys. Bye.